federal lawsuit accuses a Fayette County Sheriff's deputy and an Ohio State Highway Patrol trooper of using excessive force. The traffic stop last May along I-71 north of Wilmington left the victim nearly blind in one eye. Ashley Berry takes us through the video of the stop. You're about to see the incident and hear what officials think about it. We do want to warn you, some of this can be difficult to watch. It's about 3.45 a.m. on May 25, 2013. Ohio State Highway Patrol Trooper Brian Cook just arrested the driver of the truck for drunk driving. His passenger, Matthew David Kelly, was asleep. Hey, partner. Hey. There was no response, so Trooper Cook reached into the truck and shook him. Hey. 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 Kelly flailed his arms and got tangled in his own locked seatbelt. Deputy Clinton Sines ran to the passenger side to assist Trooper Cook. With his taser drawn, he ordered Kelly out of the vehicle. Show us your hands. I know you were asleep. Now get out. Deputy Sines tried to pull Kelly out, but he was restrained by his seatbelt. After several attempts, Kelly partially fell out. He lost grip of Kelly's sweatshirt and then fired his taser. You can see Kelly fall back towards the truck. A prong struck Kelly in his right eye. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Now! Get on the ground! I'm doing it again! Get on the ground! Kelly stood there with his hands on his head and appeared confused. The deputy activated the taser for a second time and, according to the lawsuit, sent a second surge of high-voltage electricity into Mr. Kelly's eye. Both the trooper and the deputy then realized Kelly was still buckled in. You got a seatbelt around him? Um, let me see. Yeah. Turn around! Just turn around! Face away from me! Kelly was eventually freed from the seatbelt and complied with the orders. The lawsuit claims the taser prong remained embedded in his right eye. In the video, you can see it's swollen and shut, and you can hear him complain of pain. Uh, I Paramedics truck. later transported him to the hospital for surgery, and according to the lawsuit, Kelly suffered near total loss of vision in that eye. Kelly's attorney did not return our phone calls for comment. Fayette County Sheriff Vernon Stanforth told 10TV, quote, Deputy Signs was not reprimanded for these allegations. I thoroughly reviewed the video and believe he acted within policy. We also obtained Deputy Signs' personnel file and along with several accolades, also found reprimands for unprofessional conduct and failure to perform his duties. This is an ongoing lawsuit and we will pass along any developments in this case.